Hey guys, Steve here with the Scroll Saw Workshop. You'll have to excuse my voice tonight. I'm dealing with a little bit of laryngitis and a cold, so I'm a little under the weather. But I wanted to quickly show you how to use Inkscape, which is a free vector graphics program, uh, to edit the wooden vases on the scroll saw patterns that I sell on my blog. And I'll put a link to the uh, the sale page for these uh, vase books uh, in the description below if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, but let me show you how simple it is to take these vases that are already decorative and maybe uh, change them up to make them more personalized. Once you get Inkscape installed, and I'll put a link to this program in the uh, description below also, you go to File, Import, and then you're going to go find the wooden vases that you will have downloaded from the sales page. And in this case, I think I'll use uh, number one. There's two books, by the way. They're $12 each. Once you click on import, you'll get the PDF import settings dialog come up. And you'll see that you have the first page uh, open. If you hit OK right now, it will... Uh, open just the title page and that's not what we want so go over here to the select pages and scroll until you find the vase you want now let's say we're going to use this vase as an example you can see we have one that has a decoration already on it and one that is plain so since the front and back of the vase are the same we can use this blank vase to make a customized one and uh, then just print out a separate one of these without the decorations on it and uh, you're good to go so we've got page six selected I'm going to hit OK and you'll see that it brought that page in only that page in uh, but the items are all grouped together so we can't use them yet so with them selected you got your pick tool selected you've got everything selected you're going to go to Object, Ungroup. This will make everything individual. And we can get rid of everything we don't want. Here's the original decorative vase. We're going to get rid of that. And this is the one that we want to edit. So we can use any text. Uh, in this case, you'll want to use a stencil font if you want to add a name to this pattern. And we could take this and let's see, we'll have to move this to the back. Uh, lower. We can size this any size we want. Let's say we're right about there, and we're going to put that there. Now we can take our pick tool, select both objects, go to path, difference, and you can see we've cut that out. So now we can use that to cut out on the scroll saw. Say we want to add a little more decoration to it. Again, we've got to move that raise to the top. We can move this wherever we need it on the vase again take our pick tool select everything go to path difference and there we've got a pattern that is totally personalized that we can make one of our vases out of and uh, give it uh, as a christmas gift to uh, someone special and you can see using the stencil font i'm able to cut this out uh, now some of these fonts are easier to cut than others and you may want to edit on the fly a little bit as you're cutting this if i were cutting this i would stop this p up here to give myself more uh, wood right here left over i might do the same with the a's i would probably separate these t's a little bit you know just make some on the fly cutting edits while you go uh, you don't have to follow the pattern uh, perfectly just because it's printed out this way so there you go that's a way to take my um, wooden vases on the scroll saw books and turn them into personalized gifts that you can give this christmas thanks for being here with me at the scroll saw workshop we'll catch you next time